Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with a video for you. If you are not a fan having to pay for Microsoft Office, then say no more. We're going to be showing you how to download and install a program called WPS. That is pretty much an Office Suite version for Microsoft Office that pretty much allows you to use stuff like, um, like Word, Excel, PowerPoint and PDF files and stuff like that to make it a lot easy for you. So pretty much the program is WPS Office. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you do is pretty much open up a browser. You can choose any browser that you want. By default, your computer most likely has the Microsoft Edge. So we are pretty much opening up on that. And once we get to there, we're gonna go to WPS.com. I'm gonna go ahead and press enter. And here we are, we come to the website. It tells us like every other website about the cookies. Go ahead and press allow all. And this is what we are seeing. It pretty much tells us that we have the ability for oh, pop-ups on the browser. All right. It says that the writer, presentations, spreadsheets, and PDFs are all useful tools. And they are pretty much free for this. It says that they have it for Mac, Windows, Android, iOS, and even Linux. So if you have Linux, it's a good system for it. Honestly, I need to make some videos about there on Linux too. Regardless, we're going to be showing you how to download. So right when you get to the site, on the first thing you see is select the free download, or you can download it on the top. Regardless, just select the free download. It even has an offline version, so in case you want to download it, you can probably save it on a flash drive and install it on a computer in case they do not have Wi-Fi, but it's very unlikely in today's world. Regardless, go ahead and select the download and see how it goes. Alrighty, so pretty much the file has done it, so I'm going to go ahead and right click on it. And we should possibly get maybe a pop-up. Oh, here it is. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just X out the browser. I don't really need that. It tells us if you want to go ahead and read and agree to the WPS Office license agreements. You can read it if you want to. I am pretty much going to go ahead and just leave it as is. Now, instead of just simply install now, you can probably do that. I'm going to see what is underneath the custom settings. Okay, underneath the custom settings, it tells us if you want to set the PDF files to be the default. And also if you want it to be the default programs for pretty much Word, Excel, PowerPoint, stuff like that. So those will be checked if you want it to be done. If you do not care, then you know what I mean. You can pretty much uncheck them, see if you don't want them. Regardless, I'm going to go ahead and just leave it as is and press install now. It says that it's currently downloading the WPS office and then it's probably going to go into processing installing. So I'm going to go ahead and let it do its work. So depending on this, it might take a little while, so do give it some time. And we're going to hope and see if we don't have to restart the computer, but if we do, we'll restart it. But let's go ahead and let it do its work. Alrighty, so the WPS PDF came up. Oh, the WPS Office has came up, finally. The icon on the bottom is there too, so I think it's pretty much almost done. Alrighty, so it looks like it did exit out. I'm going to be sure. Okay, so it said it has pretty much exit out and it says get started. And it tells us welcome to WPS. You can sign in the user that gives you view and edit documents and also gives you one gig of storage, sync your files on multiple devices, massive free templates and convert to PDFs. At the current time being, I'm not going to sign in. I'm just going to go ahead and exit out and just view and edit documents. But here we have it. We can pretty much open up documents, spreadsheets, presentations, and PDF files. It tells us it works easy with the WPS Premium. You know how every program works. When they want you to pay for the full one, then you get more features, and that's how they make money. But here we have it. So we want to create a document. It's very pretty simple. Almost like a blank one. And here we have it. And this is actually very similarity, similar to Microsoft Office from Word. But here it is for that one. I'm going to go ahead and open up a different one. I'm going to go ahead and go to presentation. And pretty much it's a PDF. PDF. Uh, PowerPoint file. Very similar related. I'm going to go to PDF office again. There is spreadsheet. So this is pretty much Excel. And we pretty much get the point. We have the stuff that is now on here. We have also have PDF. You can probably select documents and stuff like that. 
But we pretty much got the program installed. You just have to get used to it. It's a little free open source and alternative than having to use Microsoft Office. But regardless, we got the system installed on your Windows 11. Thanks everyone, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.